Hi, here we are again, another edition of uh, the Math with Marty show. I'm Neil, your co-host. So, we've got nine guys coming to a guy's house for a party, and each guest has to shake hands with a different number of guys. Some of you have been thinking about it for a week, some only for a few minutes. The first time that I attacked it, I sort of, sort of foolishly just wrote down 10 circles to represent the 10 guys, and I said, let's have this guy shake hands with, with the guy next to him, so he's all done. Here's the guy who shakes hands once, and then I said, let's draw this line here, and here's the guy who shakes hands twice. Now this guy, I want him to shake hands three times, so he's got to shake his hand, his hand, and his hand. So he's a guy who shakes three hands. And, well, let me continue a little further. And this guy has to shake four hands. So he's already sh shaken one. He's going to shake this guy. He's going to shake with this guy. That's three. And now he's got to shake with this guy. So he's shaken one, two, three, four hands. This guy is going to shake, got to shake five hands, so he's got to shake with him, with him. One, two, three, four, five. He's already shaken hands backwards with some guys, Neil. This guy? Yeah, hasn't he? Oh, okay. He has to shake five hands. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because it's the way I first tried it. And I, I just wanted to show where the dead end comes. So this guy's shaking four. This guy, one, two, three, four, five. This guy's got to shake six. He's already shaken two, three, four, five. And six. It's starting to look like a real mess, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I've, these are all the ten guys in the room. Let number ten be the host. Five shaken five hands. Six has to shake six hands. And you can see that number seven, he's already shaken three, and there's only three guys left. So number this guy can't shake hands with seven guests, so this is sort of a dead-end approach. And uh, I'm just going to erase the board now. Maybe I'll leave it on. So after playing with that for a little while, I decided to draw the guys at the party a slightly different way. Like so. And by sort of pairing the guys who shake a lot of hands and the guys who shake few hands, you see that you can develop a nice, uh, a nice sort of uh, structure where, where it's, there's sort of a symmetry to it. Let's, I want to pair the guy who has to shake one hand sort of with the guy who has to shake nine in such a way that if one shakes nine, then number one is done. He doesn't have to do any more work. And number nine's got to shake hands with nine guys. And how many are there? There's, well, aside from him, there are nine. He's got to shake hands with everyone. And I represent that by putting a thick arrow pointing to, pointing to the right. So he's shaking hands with everyone. Now, this guy, number two, remember, even though it's not drawn explicitly, he's already shaken hands with number nine. So if I have him shake hands with this guy, who, as you might guess, I'm going to call the guy who has to shake eight hands, then number two is done. He's shaken with nine, he's shaken with eight. And what do you think I'm going to do with uh, this guy? What's he done so far? He's shaken with nine, he's shaken with two. So he's got two done. He's got to shake with six more. And if you look to the right, that's everyone left. You see how it's going to go. Three is already shaken two hands. This is its third. Seven's already shaken one, two, three hands. He's got four to go. 
and this is going to be two, six shakes with everyone. Number four under the six, Neil. He wrote a two in Oh, yeah. Well, oh, going the wrong direction. Yeah, because this guy, he's already shaken one, two, three hands. This is his fourth. Six has already shaken one, two, three, four, and he's got two left. And the numbers, the only numbers left. Well, what have we got? This is the guy who's got to shake five hands. He's shaken one, two, three, four. He's got to shake five, and he's done. And this is the host. And the host, well, he's already shaken five hands, just like his partner up here. So uh, that's how I attacked it. And uh, I believe that is the correct answer for a change. Usually my job is to come up here before Marty and give a, give a wrong answer to, to a problem. So this is uh, a little bit of variety for your viewing entertainment. But anyway, the show is going to proceed. Don't be so sure, Neil.